much has been happening. I have not been good at vlogging, but it's finally time for, I don't know the heater would come on right when I start recording. <sighs> but anyway, a couple of hauls ago, um, I was showing you guys the blanket that I got for my supervisor and they were gonna do a thing with the books like I was telling you. I'll, you know, put it up there so you can click on it if you wanna watch it. But uh, the idea was supposed to get our favorite child's book and I was gonna do something extra by embroidering a blanket for her. So we're doing that party next week. Today is December 8th. So it's gonna be a week from to, a week from yesterday. And so I got my sewing machine slash embroidery machine set up. I realized since I've been in my new apartment, I have not unpacked any of my sewing stuff. So I just got the, um, the case, the crafts. Um, and then as you can see, I was in the closet trying to find the rest of my sewing stuff. So I'm gonna embroidery, embroider, gosh. So I'm gonna use my embroider thread. So these containers here, they contain like my regular thread if you're just doing regular sewing. But these big containers, here, let me get it out and then I'll show you. Okay, so these big containers here contain my embroidery thread. Everything got a little flipped while they were moved. So these are specifically for embroidery and they gloss and they shine. I mean, I guess you can use them for thread too, but they were a bit pricey, okay? So I'm gonna keep that. Oh, no. So I have those, but I also have another one as well. I'm grabbing it so you can see. Ah! I have another one as well. So I need to find the rest of, this is the cord to uh, um, hook my sewing machine to the computer. Some old batting that I need. Cause you need those sheets to embroider. Um, I don't, that is, I think. I don't know if that's embroider thread or not. I got a couple of bobbins in here. So I have two cases of embroider thread. Yeah, I don't think this is embroidery. It's just in there, but that's okay. It's fine. It's real fine. So as you can see, some of them are unopened. Just got a bunch of embroidery thread. So I got a couple more things I got to find. And then I'm going to get a chair. And then I'm going to set this up. And I'm going to show you all my full setup once I get it. full setup since I'm just doing some embroider work um, but I just wanted to show you a couple more things I found and unpacked that I will be using to embroider this blanket um, this is my scrap bag all scraps go in here there's some thread in here I don't know how or why it's in there but in my scrap bag you gotta have a scrap bag as a sewer I'm not a seamstress I just sew things and embroider things these are I don't know technical terms for stuff, but I just know stabilizers. <laughs> Hold on, I pat myself on the back. It's been a while, but yes. I was gonna say, I forgot. I don't know the technical name of things because I forgot it's been a while. But no, these are state, that's all coming back to me. Oh my gosh, okay. Anyway, these are stabilizers. Um, so um, some time ago, my mom just bought like a pack of like these, I don't know, 10 by eight by eight sheets, which is really nice. So I don't have to like, I also do have some roll of stabilizers. So if I do need bigger, like, you know, spaces, I can. But for, I'm just going to put out baby and then jelly. The nice sheets are good. So that's all I needed. And of course, my trusty, I take this, I don't take this everywhere I go, but I use it every time I sew. It is a beautiful, we'll do it this way because for some reason it ain't working for me. It's a beautiful... It's funny because this is a singer, um, like brand container, but I have a brother machine. <laughs> um, so it's just a couple of things. There's a built-in pin cushion. I realize I'm not showing y'all nothing. I'm so sorry. There's a built-in pin cushion. I have a tape measure here. Um, don't know what this name tag came from. 
maybe I was doing it. I have things like seam rippers. I have pre-filled bobbins. I believe these pre-filled bobbins are with embroider thread. So I think I'm actually going to take this out because I'm going to need that. Um, I have some uh, needles if you want to sew by hand. There's some more thread in here, random. I have uh, seam rippers. I have a screwdriver <coughs> for the machine. You'll see why when I put on the embroider hook, which is this bad boy. Or no, this is my, is this my bad? It's been so long. I don't know if that's my embroider hook or if that is my free quilting hook. I don't, I forget the technical name. I think this is my embroider hook. But yeah, so you're gonna see me put that on. Uh, what else is in here? Um, what are these? What are those? These are replacement needles, I think, for the sewing machine. I have a thimble. I have some pens. Uh, this is the for the spool. Um, underneath, I have uh, um, fabric scissors. I also have a case of bobbins, embroidery stuff, so needles, feet for the machine, and another screwdriver, which I won't need, but it's okay. There's some more um, sewing extras, as you can see. I have some more hand sewing needles. I have, a, I forget the technical name, but you know, to cut fabric. Um, let's see if it's on here. No, it's not. But yeah, you know, to cut fabric. It looks like a pizza cutter. I have whatever kind of foot this is. Like, so I have stuff, you know? I have some puffy paint in here for some reason. So yeah. So let me get set up. Hopefully I'll be able to do a time lapse for you. If not, you'll see me come back. And we're gonna get this party started. Yes, this is the original, this is just regular thread bobbins. And then the other bag is the embroider bobbins. So we'll go ahead and put that in here. Make some room, excuse me. Oh yeah, these are my favorite scissors to cut thread with. They're great. Ooh. And some more replacement needles for the machine, which is good. I need to take a picture of it just in case I need to buy more. All right, so let's get set up and let's start embroidering this blanket, y'all. hoop on it and I took off the stabilizer I googled it I did not need stabilizer because it's such a thick fabric and I finally got the hoop on after my gosh literally like half an hour it took me to get this on so I took it off the, <laughs> took the stabilizer out and I was finally able to get it on so let's get this baby programmed so the baby's name is Angelica but mommy is calling her Jelly as a nickname, which I think is absolutely adorable. So we're going to put on the blanket, Baby Jelly. So this is gonna be, it's gonna obviously read from right to left. So we're gonna put Jelly right here. We'll have to get the uh, the measurements the same, but um, let's see, what does this look like? Oh, I forgot, it came with a cool pen too that I rarely use. I just use my fingers on stuff. Cause it's gonna be G. We're gonna go lowercase, and it's gonna be jelly. It's gonna be jelly. Then we can do some adjustments. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute. Kind of. Why does it look like there's a space between the G and the E? Let me choose the other font. Don't you forget about me. 
I was curious about this one. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh, I saw, um, oh, jelly is too large for it. Mm, with this font, unless you do medium. Oh no, that's too small. We want large. So we'll get that out of here. Um well, let's delete. All of it actually, thank you. That's just the original. We'll do the cursive one. Or should we do just regular? <laughs> Tin, you are dumb. Well, that's not bad. I like that. All right, we'll use that. Um, oh, I could have flipped it so I didn't have to put it together. That's okay. That's okay. We'll do it like this. I don't know what that means. All right. The signs. I don't know how big it can go. But I want it as big as it can go. Jelly, 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 jelly. So the biggest it can go, three, three inches, seven, four inches out way. Okay, lovely. It's good I'm videoing this too, so I can, actually there's a new feature where you can take a picture with the phone or with the video. All right, cool. Now for the fun part, we get to choose the thread and set the bobbin, and then we'll let the machine go. All right, I'll try to do a time lapse for y'all. All right, bye. It's so loud. Okay, so I was showing y'all me do, I was showing y'all me do, yeah, that's what I meant, this blanket, and it came out like this. This is not the right blanket to embroider. You can barely see it. Oh, so, I was doing some last minute shopping at Target today. Um, I'm going to show you my Target haul after this um, sewing portion, but I also bought... A new blanket I think it's going to show up a lot better on it so let's go ahead and get this set up and this new blanket embroidered let's do it okay I'm all set up for part two um, I got the size where I want it I took a picture for um, baby because it's gonna say jelly here and then baby so I got that so I can set it up um, I'm just going to lower the pressure foot and the beautiful thing about my sewing machine and embroidery machine is that I don't need a pedal, which is nice. So I can literally just leave this to embroider and go like watch TV or something because it has this nifty button right here. So you select the speed that you want, super fast, super slow, right in the middle. I usually do it right in between. 
and you just press this button and it goes. You literally don't need your pressure foot or you don't need the pedal. If you would like to, you can plug in a pedal and then you can add a pedal, but grand I got time for that. Maybe when I'm sewing, but not when I'm embroidery. Just let it go. finished result it came out super cute and i know you see the little extra embroider peeking i'm gonna tell you what it is i thought i was like you know what it needs something a little bit more so bam i put a butterfly on it and it came out really stupendous it's so pretty i hope my supervisor loves it baby jelly has her own personalized blanket and hopefully mom's able to keep it for um, forever i'm so excited oh okay um time to show y'all my target haul let me just get this blanket out of the way move my sewing machine and we can do it right here on this table <laughs> all right okay so i'm gonna show you everything that i got from target excuse the rustling of the noise of the bag i didn't take anything out it's whatever but anyway um starting off really simple so we're having a company party and our budget was between $10 and $15. And now that I'm thinking about it, I came back home and was like, it's 10 to 15. I read the email. And then I um I was I remember when I was in Target, I just kept having $15 in my mind. So it's $15 what I got, but whatever. So I got everything from Target, which is great because in my mind I was like, I think I'm gonna have to go to Target, TJ Maxx and walmart and granted today is saturday so i was like oh it's gonna be so crowded it's like two weeks before christmas like i just don't want to do it so i was so happy that i was able to find everything in target okay enough blabbering but yeah so this is the gift bag that i'm going to put everything in i don't think that counts toward it i think it was like 350 this is from target i already have tissue paper that i got from the dollar tree but i thought that was cute i needed something that was gonna fit because <laughs> i was like oh man Okay, so hopefully everyone celebrates Christmas. If not, this might be an issue. However, it was the pillow that I liked and I wanted to give. So it is a cute, simple, neutral pillow. And it says Merry Christmas. And you will not believe Target only had it for five bucks. I was like, oh my God, this is cute. They had a whole aisle of like Christmas pillows for like five bucks and stuff. So that's the full pillow i was like that's cute love that so that's five dollars and then i was also able to because you know this stuff just says me just says jamaria i was like what else that says me that i can get so i also grabbed target had a um a couple of candles the opal house for five dollars and this is why i keep telling everybody i am not excuse me i just had a pop i am not going to bath and body works anymore this is a um 15 ounce candle i don't know how big the um the bath and body works candles actually i have one let me look so this is a bath and body works one it is 14.5 ounces <laughs> this is a 15 ounce candle for only ten dollars opal house and i got this one because it is like christmas holiday themed so yeah that's why i got that one so in addition to that candle they also have some candles on clearance mind you they're also um, 15 ounce, let me see, 15 ounce candles. And look, they were on clearance for $3. I wanna see what they were before. So it was 10, I'm trying to see what the other sticker was before they marked them down again. 
they had a few left on the um the camera so they went down to five and then they just marked them down to three so um, i'm gonna put these up and bust them out um uh i said they only got one for me bust it out come fall next year i have two um they had another one pumpkin spice it was just too dang strong i was like good lord so I just got two of the vanilla pumpkin because I'm going to give one to my mom. They were only $3. Like, I promise you, I will never be buying candles from Bath and Body Works ever again. I also bought some vanilla wafers. And some vanilla, oh, you can't see, vanilla pudding. Uh, for the party, I'm going to be making a banana pudding. Um, oh, they have a recipe for original vanilla banana pudding. Uh, no. So the key to my banana pudding, and hopefully I'll vlog it so you guys can see it, is you just use banana. I already have a box of banana cream pudding. I just, I was looking for banana in Target, but they didn't have it. So they only have vanilla, so I'm just getting the vanilla. Um, but that's fine. It's whatever. It'll work. Um, in addition to that banana pudding, I was like, oh man, now I need to go to Dollar Tree to get a container to take it in. Um, Target had, as a matter of fact, let me take my phone off the tripod. I'm just gonna hold it. <clears throat> Target had these two pack storage containers. They had different sizes as well. I didn't want a two pack. I just wanted one. But it was like for three dollars and some change you get two and i'm like that's perfect i can put the banana pudding in there i can take it to work it'll be perfect so those are what those are so those kind of go together and then i got some of these expensive prismacolor color pencils and these regular old like matte or mate um just number two pencils comes with a sharpener as well uh for my brother because i bought him a sketchbook some time ago if you look at my hobby halabi haul um they had a sale so i was like oh let me pick him up a sketchbook that's gonna be a part of his christmas gift <laughs> so that's why today was like that's it that's all i got because that's it i got i got all the gifts um i just needed to pair it with some pencils so he used to a long time ago draw and my mom has been like you need to draw you need to draw you used to do that you need a hobby so maybe this will inspire him so this will get paired with his sketchbook and that will be a part of one of his christmas gifts i also bought ba -da -da, ba -da -da, ba -da -da. my other brother a um this was only 10 bucks at Target. I told you, I don't even have to say that. Everything's from Target. Um, it was a beard and face wash along with some beard oil. And I was like, that's cute. Sometimes he likes to have a beard, um, but he doesn't take care of it. And so my mom makes fun of him. So hopefully um, with this, um, you know, beard wash and beard oil, um, he'll take care of his uh, beard. And this will get paired with his other gift. <clears throat> Cause I got my brothers a, each one of them, I got a different Lego set for each of them. And then I wanted to give them a second gift. So this is his second gift and this is his second gift along with the sketchbook. So that was the only thing, very cheap, $10. Can't beat that. Um, I also found, cause Walmart did not have it, watermelon body scrub. I am no longer living with my mother so I can no longer steal all of her body scrubs. <laughs> Cause she had them all auto ship. I'm like, dang it. I have to buy my own now. I hate it. So I wanted watermelon um, and they didn't have it at Walmart. So I got watermelon and they also had candy cane as well. And we were looking at the candy cane and um, I actually bought this from my mom. I texted her cause it wasn't part, it wasn't supposed to be Christmas gift. It was just be like, Hey, I found it. I bought you one. I got you. Uh, but she was like, I got so many. I'm like, yeah, you do. She's like, you can have it. So I guess this will go with my stash because it's mine now. Whoa. Um, I do love Tree Hut's um, body scrubs. Oh, man, you can just smell the watermelon. It smells so good. 
um tree hut has also came out with a body oil i think i remember seeing an ad for it somewhere or i might have saw like somebody's tiktok using it or something i don't remember but i remember seeing it i was like oh i need to try it i totally forgot until now just reminded me dang it that's okay i was just in target too well and last but not least um i saw you the blanket i saw you the blanket i showed you the blanket but i was like oh how am i gonna get her the blanket so i picked this up as well just a um gift bag perfect size right it should fit yeah it'll fit um and then i was like i only have christmas tissue paper so i also picked this up for a dollar fifty the bag was 250 and then of course because your girl is a girly girl and i'm glad that she's having her girl be a girly girl um i found this bow as well so i'm just gonna put all this together make a pretty bag for her and that's it so did i show you the two candles yep i showed you everything so that's what i got from walmart or <laughs> i go to walmart so much that's what i got from target today a little small haul like five bags of things i was like mm -mm, that's all i need and yeah so all right well i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you want more sewing content or slash embroidery content let me know because this is the first time this year, yes, this year, since I have sewed or embroidered something and it was really fun. So if you're into that, then let me know. Um, but yeah, all right. I will catch y'all in the next video. Love ya. <laughs> Bye.